Hello YouTube. Today we have this Ultra Rare 1983 Vitex Ellington Deluxe 42 inch. Now I acquired this fan yesterday on Let Go. I went there this mor yesterday morning and got this. I had to do some wiring in the switch housing and I just installed it. But we're going to put it on low here. And it's all got the original stuff, uh, except I didn't <clears throat> I didn't install the light kit, and I don't know where it is right now. I'm looking for it. I was getting up to speed here. Let's look for this light kit, shall we? And this is like your standard brass fitter. It's like the ones that Emperor's had. Oh, here it is. Here's the original light kit that came with it. But since it's installed on bedroom, I don't I have lamps that are pretty bright. I don't need it. So I just sit down here on the radio. That's low. Here's medium. There's medium speed. Um, sure, I'm pretty good. And here's high. Full change a little bit. Weird. Most pretty decent air on high. Now we're gonna stop it here. And reverse it. And don't worry, I'm not breaking the blade arms over this guy. Because it's actually very good. Actually, a very good thing. So I'm not going to damage it. It's very well balanced, surprisingly. There's low. It's actually very well balanced. I'm pretty amazed by that. Because usually you get an old fan, it's usually wobbly as hell and shit. But um, no, not this one. This one just works really good. And, um, when I got it, there's tape on this tassel for weird reasons, but it looks fine now. I cleaned it up a little bit. It's like brand new. It looks like brand new. I tried doing a pole chain, but I couldn't do it. <coughs> I used a jewelry polishing thing that my dad had. It worked. There's high in reverse. Now it's time for the spin down. I haven't actually done a spin down on this yet. Because I just installed it. For the first time. Since I bought it. So I had to make a video of the fan. So. This is in my channel trailer. The other fan I just took down is my NASCAR fan. Which is actually on my floor next to the Fasker Charleston. Where this used to be. Um. It looks like a fan that I saw in another video from a guy named Fan of Vacuums 2. Um, he It was called Poor Old Ceiling Fans. The video came out and I would say maybe 2009 or 2012. No, 2012. But it had fans in the beginning that looked pretty similar to this, but it wasn't the same fan. They were considered CEC, but they looked a lot like, the, like this. But it was a GE vent. No, I think they might have been flipped. No, they were GE then, they were copper. But they had the same dimensions, same switch housing size, and it might be an air cool made version because it looked a lot like this. So it could be. But this is actually a Litex and or air cool fan. And the tag, it says air cool. But the box that came in is Litex, and it's um, actually made by Litex. But it's originally made by Air Cool, but it was relabeled as a Litex Ellington fan. So, it's got a very, it has very good bearings, as you can tell. Um, so, the capacitor is not failing in this. It just has a very small capacitor, like a lot of the older fans did. And um, it has a very surprisingly long spin down, considering. I've never had a fan that spun down as long as this thing does. I'm amazed. It's just like the one my aunt had when I was a kid. Same, it was actually so antique brass. 
it was kind of like this, but I'm just going to show you, so to stop, I'm just going to tap it lightly, and I'm just going to show you how well it's bearings are oil. I'm amazed, I don't, I'm amazed it's still going, dude, but, um, yeah, so that is my, my aunt has a fan, it might be one of these, actually, because I remember it having a ventless motor. It's antique brass like this one and it has filigree and I believe I believe it has footprint vents, but I could be wrong. I haven't seen it in like I haven't seen it in years, so I don't know necessarily if that's what it is. But it's pretty close to it. It has this original tassel and everything. It's pretty cool. I like this fan. It's got no paint splotches on it. It's very well balanced as well. And it moves pretty decent air, so I'd say this fans they win a score. Only got it for twenty five bucks and let go. And you know what? It's it was worth every penny. It's a good fan. It's probably gonna stay up here for a while. I love it. It matches my my doors really good, and my bedding and my furniture blades. And the brass matches the um, well any brass parts I have lying around my room. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, stay cool. Um, have a wonderful day, everyone. Hopefully, I'll, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget, stay cool. Have a great summer.